This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at closed captions in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to extract existing captions from a video or import a caption file. Before we start, there's a key step that I forgot to mention in my webinar. In order to view captions, go up to the View menu in the top right corner of the viewer and go down to the bottom and select Show Captions. Until you do this, captions can be created but not viewed. Here's a movie file that I brought into Final Cut, and we know that it has captions because it has that little caption badge in the top left corner. If I select the clip and edit it down to the timeline, if you look at this really, really carefully, you will not see a single caption because by default, captions are invisible. By the way, I want to thank John Putch for sharing the footage that we're using today, both this dramatic scene and the one we'll use next. They're from his movie called Route 32, and I'm very grateful to John for, for allowing us to use this in our training. The easiest way to work with, with captions is to extract them from a file. For instance, if I select this clip, go up to the Edit menu, and go down to the bottom, there's a new menu choice called Captions, and notice it says Extract Captions. Now, this only works with SCC captions, but when I say Extract, notice that now the captions are extracted from and separate from the video file. Here, for instance, I can see that we have a caption where the door closes or a caption where she comes down and starts talking. These captions were embedded as SCC files inside the video file, and it's, it's easy for us to now extract them and look at them inside the timeline. Now, the reason this would be important is, let's say you're watching a movie that you created, and you discover, oops, there's a typo in a caption. You can open up the movie file, correct the caption, save the file, and now you've made a, a correction to a caption without having to go back and re-edit the entire file. Now, those of you with really good vision, let me just make this a little bit bigger so you can see, are looking at that caption and say, Larry, that has got to be the ugliest thing I have ever seen. And you're absolutely right. It is terribly ugly. I'll blow this up to 100%. Pull this down here. When you look at it at 100%, okay, it looks better, but it still doesn't look great. Don't sweat this. You have no control over the font or the font size of captions because the user in their TV set has control over that. Really, all you're doing is entering the text and determining the timing and the placement. You're not determining the look. There's a couple of exceptions, but separate in your brain all the formatting controls we have over a title, which are vast, to a caption. And that's because captions are defined based upon 1950s television, which means we've got very, very limited formatting control in the actual caption format itself. I'll show you more of that as we get farther into the, the presentation today. If we have a movie which has captions, we can import that movie, extract the captions, and now we can make changes to the captions. By the way, to select all the captions, click any one of them, type Command A, and they're all selected. Type Command A a second time, and you've selected everything. In this case, I want to just get rid of these captions. Command A, hit Delete, and they're gone. That's option one. Another option is I have a movie file, and I've created a sidecar file. I want to import the captions. We go to File, Import, but we're not importing media. We're importing the captions. When I import the captions, notice that I've got an SRT file and a text file, neither of which are supported by Final Cut. Final Cut does support the SCC file, which is the CEA 608 that we were talking about before. Select the caption file, click Import, and it says, Larry, the frame rate of the captions does not match the project frame rate. Well, that's because the captions are at 23.976, and the project is 23.978, and the two of them are off by one one thousandth of a frame, which is to say, I don't care. And we'll just click OK. And now the captions are imported and synced to the video. 
Again, we can work with each individual caption. We'll do more of that in just a minute. So one, I can import a movie file that contains captions and extract them. Or two, I can import a movie file and import a sidecar SCC or ITT file and have it automatically linked up to the video inside the timeline inside Final Cut. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at closed captions inside Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 253. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.